Every time somebody stops talking about wrestling, <laughs> some cracker want to bring up CM Punk. He's just a new age road dog. So he can work. <laughs> and cut a good promo. Okay, well, so he's better than me. Shut up. I think they set up the CM Punk, whether, you know, because whether it was a shoot, work, or whatever it was, it was set up way before it ever happened. I mean, there was a buzz that some, either somebody let it out that there was a buzz that his contract's coming up and he's not re signing. Uh oh. You know, and there really isn't that much there. And, and a lot of people probably went, so? <laughs> so? Yeah. And then, because a buddy of mine, Chris Cash, had to call me and tell me, hey, you got to watch this pay per view because. It's a CM Punk Cena angle. I know nothing about it because I, you know, as much as I love wrestling, I kind of don't watch it. One, it hurts my feelings that I'm not there, and two, <laughs> I'm probably doing something else. But um, <clears throat> is is it actually? <laughs> actually, I was excited to watch it because it was really, really good. Because I didn't know the whole background story on it, and then I was told the kind of background story of how it was kind of. But I'd heard something about CM Punk's gonna leave. He's you know unhappy there, whatever. And I went, well, "Good luck out there in Indy, right, buddy. Right. It'll be good for a little <laughs> right. while, and then you'll then you'll be wanting to go back there." Hey, and <clears throat> God bless Ring of Honor, but you don't get no Slurpee cups up in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I mean. I think if uh, whatever, however the shoot or work, whatever came about, it was set up good. I mean, it, what, when other people try it, it's like you just come out and they go, eh, oh, this place, so where'd that come from? There's no buzz before it. You know, there's no buzz or no talk or no, hey, CM Punk's leaving. One person goes, so? They got John Cena. And another one goes, oh my gosh, it'll be a disaster if he leaves. You know, so and then you have, and then all of a sudden he comes out and cuts a promo that dogs everybody. It's the same thing. It's the same thing Austin did when he got hot, just dogging Vince. When you're dogging the number one company in wrestling, people go, (laughs) especially your fan base is going to go, oh my God, how is Vince letting this happen? It's more a thing of, how can they let this happen, which excites people. Right. Just like when Austin's dog and Vince and trying to chase him down and beat him up and run him over. It's like, how can you do that to your boss? The guy's worth a billion dollars. You're trying to run him over and you're dumping concrete in his brand new Corvette. 